Hello and welcome to the Gaming Chronicles. Today we will continue Fantasy Star 3, Generations of Doom. Alright, let's fire it up and uh, today we are going to conclude Chris's generation and defeat Dark Force for the third time. All right, continue, Chris level 13, all right, I think we've got everything we need, right, let's just double check, planner, royal, blah, 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 uh, yep, 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 and a planner of astro, yep, oh, uh, ah, spaz, all right, planner armor, Maybe first with, okay, yep, and everyone's loaded up with medicines of all types and stuff. Uh, you have a few slots, but we're not going to stress that. We're just going to go. Alright, we're in new moda, right? I think so. Alright. All right, let's roll out. Although we're not really Autobots. Okay, uh, it's this one, right? Yeah. Curious about Kara's uh, melee techniques. I don't know that I've ever actually used them before. I mean, she's proficient enough with the slicer that it's like, mm, don't really need to. But I'm curious. Um, let's just see if, uh, like, if it comes up 19. Nah, not really. <laughs> nope. Not really. Okay, never mind. So we won't really worry about using them. <laughs> I was just curious. Why did they make her technique so weak? Um, her technique square so weak? Because even though she... Uh, she requires the most experience per level uh, out of anybody in the game. Uh, and she is physically stronger than the other Kara, uh, who's... I mean, Niles, uh, you know, after Niles' generations, uh, it's not really by such a pronounced amount that it's like, oh my goodness, she's so amazing. She's she's not like, you know, a, a Sarai, you know? She's not like the equivalent of a Sarai in the third generation now. You know, there's uh, there's only one Sarai. There's only one uh, OP uh, dual wielder throughout the generations. And we have arrived at the shoot with the doom music playing. Your death awaits you in the city of the shoot. Okay. Let's move out of my way. And we will see. Ouch. makes me wonder where all the enemies were, like, hiding when we were here previously. Uh, just... Just curious about that. Or are these, like, all the citizens that just decided to turn on me? Like, what's going on? Where do the enemies come from when suddenly the city turns hostile? We wanted Siren and Loon to start another war, but we needed Reese to bring the satellite back. And that's exactly what that old fool did. What? Well, he had to to save the people of Aquatica. Duh. Now. Oh, and that's one thing that the compendium does not, um, let's see, address is, um, the extent of the uh, 
the people of Lachute's involvement in um, the war, climate troll, if you know, if they have any influence at all, you know, it it doesn't really. Oh crap! That's right. These guys has strong draw powers. Urgh, forgot about that. Uh, because in our previous two generations of Aaron and Aiden, I uh, never got the chance, so that's ouchie. Ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. Uh, let's see, do we have any more diamate we can use? Uh, let's just go ahead and drop a trimet on you. Uh, that'll do. Yep, forgot about that, totally. And I wish it would have, uh, because there's definitely a disconnect in how, you know, the, the city of Lashute affected everything, how Rulikur affected everything, because, you know, they talk about, oh, the, uh, you know, Reese, Reese did everything that we, they, he, the, um, the Dome Bros in our ship. And this is another one right here, right? Uh, but your father and grandfather opened them. Enable us to spread evil much. Well, we didn't open the ones for Terminus, so. It, it is. Just, it, it, by opening up. <sighs> by opening up one of them, did that cause others to open up? That's not really explained either. That leaves a lot of questions. You know, that. And. Dark Force brings your doom. Okay. Um. As far as how that happened, right? Because we we started with the uh, oh another attack, eh? uh, surprise attack. So we started with the let's see passages from first you know land into Aquatica, then what Aquatica to Iridia, right? And let's see who's uh, uh, we're fine. And then eventually, depending on if it was if it was Ain or Nile, you fools! I've done it. Well, doesn't matter because we're gonna bonk you, bonk you down anyway. Then eventually to Draconia, Elysium, uh, and you know, then eventually Frigidia, but never Terminus. So that doesn't make sense why they're gloating so much. It's like okay, ooh, we let you know we. We, uh, fell for your nefarious plan, but, uh, okay, you know, <laughs> it didn't seem very nefarious, more, more like, it, uh, it was like, uh, yeah, we've been able to defeat everything you've thrown at us so far, you know, consider, you know, consider that one, um, we're going the right way, right? I don't have my maps open. Well, I only have one open, the Lashoot Dungeon. I don't have the Lashoot uh, uh, City up. Yeah, I think we're going the right way. Pretty sure. Uh, I should know, right? I should, I should know. Uh, do we have any diamond left? Yep. I have complete faith in Mew's rever ability, but I don't want to utilize it. Just saying. Ow. What else does, uh, let's see. She has, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and drop a res on Kara. Mm. Just don't cast Craw, please. Or anything. I think all of these uh, ghostly apparitions, these ghostly Arnold apparitions have pretty strong magic. Or sorry, techniques. Magic and techniques have a very, are very distinctly different. In, at least, you know, according to Fantasy Star lore. 
magic is highly complex and difficult to learn and use uh, like uh, well in Fantasy Star 4 right it's um, it's much more poignantly illustrated like you know Flaley and Hune and those spells whereas uh, techniques which of course Lutz brought to the uh, algo system are much less complex to learn and so uh, once those become like diffused among um, the populace in Palma uh, I think it was Palma's where it started uh, lots of individuals were able to learn it All right, get him. All right, we're almost to Mr. Rulik here. Well, aside from that initial uh, couple of fights where we had some high damage encounters, we've been doing pretty well. Stairs of Eternity. <clears throat> Punisher, is it a Fatima? Is that what they're called? Yeah, Fatima. Huh, interesting. Their names come up so quick. Uh, who's down? Mm, that's fine. All right, let's go ahead and heal the party to full. And let's boogie. Man, that would be a long time to like just nurture hatred and like be uh, consumed with blackness. It's it's no wonder like Rulikers probably like, you know what, if I win, if I win that's kind of crappy. If I lose, uh, it's like he's hoping you know, for uh, death here. What's up with his outfit? Like, what's that like gap of red in there? All right, so let's go ahead and cast Fan Beyond Chris. Kara, you two. And then Mew, this is totally unnecessary, but we're going to do it anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and do that again. Rulikers got, I think, probably the best defense in the game. Uh, much better than Dark Force. Alright. Um... Oh wait, we want to use an item. Uh, let's have Kara use Dimate on Mew. Let's have Kara use another. Oh no. Uh. Dimate on Chris. There we go. Easy peasy. Yeah. Uh, tragic. Uh, let's see here. Going in email. This is silly that these chests are even here. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, let's go, Ren. All right, there we go. All 
but we must maintain completionist status quo. Not really, it's just like, eh, we're, we're here. It's fine. We'll have... Yeah, we'll have Kara focus on the first row. Because I really don't want these things casting Tsu at my face, all four of them, or whatever. Alright, that worked out well. Going in him. Alright, so... If I remember correctly... We come over here, one, two, and then hit north on the third right. Hello. Ow. Whoa, Kara just got zeroed out. Dang. Well. Come on. That was a hard hit. Holy smoke. Uh, do they hit like Nashers? I hope not. Dang. Because that, that was a hard hit. Let's see. Uh, it's not this one, right? We have to go all the way up. Um, let's see. One, two, three. Ba, ba, ba. Yeah, that'll, that'll just get us stuck. Ambushed. Oh, good. Four of these little spinner thingies. Ow. Mmm. Or this technique nonsense. Wow, they're all using techniques. This is what I was afraid of. So, Leia. Uh, you're gonna definitely drop a, uh, Gerez. Everyone else is hopefully going to stay alive. Mmm. This was a hurty battle. Mm. Stop it. Well, Kara, it was all her on the back row there. Dang. Try it on Mew. Holy smoke, that was hurty. And then we walk all the way over to... Let's see, walk all the way... Yeah, okay. We surprised the monsters, good. A very nice break compared to what we just went through. Pass, oh, it's at, it, that's, it's at these, right? Yep, then we head up, and then turn here. And then come past these. And then come up here for the star mist. Oh, good. <sighs> this is great fun. Alright, get him. wasn't too bad. Although, still need to drop a Gerez on the party. A Zaf Zafira? That's not the most dangerous one, though. The most dangerous ones are the ones with the gray clothing. Go, Star Mist. Uh, let's see, and then we just come down. Let's see, where are we? Down one, two, here, right? Yeah. Then, ouch, ouch. No, do not take Mew down. Please, please, please. Mm. 
Hmm, Kara has 94. Ah, we're alright. I really did not need any antidotes. Hmm. Alright. Down here. There it is. Oh, uh, yeah, we're definitely. I think the purple conjurer sorcerer looking thing with wiry arms and fingers is. Oh, 93 damage? Is that what, is that, what that was? Holy smoke. Yeah, uh, I'm glad that. Uh, Ren was the one attacked, and not anybody else. Dang! Oh, okay. Uh, item. Try me on Ren. Yeah. Uh, try me on you. Moondo. And then, of course, the royal gear is in that box down there. There we go. Item Mew. Give to Ren. I mean, this is seriously the biggest troll in, I think, all of the Fantasy Star games. Putting uh, the best piece of headgear for Ren, or for any character, right, for that matter. Uh, at literally the farthest point away f uh, that, that you would, like, uh, that you can get to, right? Not only is it, and what I mean when I say that, that didn't make any sense. But it's not, not only is it, um at the very end of the game, but it's the very end of the game, at the very last dungeon, at the farthest corner of the very last dungeon that you can possibly get to. <laughs> Seriously. That's just rude. But whatever. We're over it. Maybe the developers are like, oh, they, they'll, they'll need more experience before they get the Dark Force. Yeah. Well, not really. Dark Force is quite, quite the pushover, really, compared to... Uh, like just trash, like trash mob fighting is more dangerous in the dungeon than Dark Force, which is sad but true. Like, you know, if you get ba if you get ambushed by a bad group of mobs, uh, there's right there's a high chance that uh, people are going down. We'll do that. Ugh. This is annoyance at its finest. Get him, you. Thank you. Nice. That'll kind of minimize our attacks that we take. How much Mercedes do we end up having? 186,000, that's ridiculous. Uh, Alright, let's go ahead and... Just throw a Garez on the party. Yeah, we're not gonna... We're fine. Alright, hello Dark Force, what's up? I am Dark Force, Master of Death, blah 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 blah. I do like the music of this fight, it's pretty groovy. I'm not, um, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, like, this is... This is good boss music. Or boss fight music. Um, Alright, so... We want to kill that hand first. Uh, left hand. Leia. No, Leia. We are going to cast Fan Beyond Chris. Kara. 
Mm. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, B, 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 B. That was dumb. There we go. Okay. Ouchie. Okay. Careful now. Jeez. Uh, now it's just kind of face roll. Kind of, not really. Everyone's supposed to be attacking. Yeah, that arm. There we go. I'm being very careful with my D-pad because that fumble that I made, that was... That should have not have happened. See, this is what I'm more used to. This didn't happen in the previous... Um, actually, let's just use a... Let's go ahead and drop a star mist on the party. Oh, do you not have one of them? That's dumb. Who has the star mist? Is it Chris? Yeah, alright, that's fine. Let's just hope he goes before... Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, his uh, Dark Force is... Sue is hitting pretty hard. So let's just uh, do that again. There we go. Um. So he's hitting in the 500s now. Now in the 558. Let's go ahead and preemptively cast or proactively cast Gerez just for good measure. Yeah. See, th this is definitely like the spamming of Sue is definitely what I'm more used to. And, and one party member, whether it's Leia, uh, like in the, in the other generations, if it's Kara. Hooray! I wanted you to burn in the sunfire. It's not to be this time, but I'm patient. I'll be back in a thousand years to try again. And disappears. This study is too able to leave standing. That's a lot of anger, Chris. How did... Okay, we're not gonna go there. It's like, you know, how did how did Mew know how to use the Grants technique? Uh... Whatever. That's probably one of those things it's like... Just throw that in there. Yeah, probably. Uh-oh, the sun's getting big! <clears throat> what had prevented the pilots from doing it previously, right? Was it was was Dark Force somehow controlling them? Was well, we we Siren. It wasn't Siren because Siren, when after he went to Sage Isle, he had like uh, basically given up. He just kind of retreated to his little corner and just sat there. I don't know if he was. Who know if he was actually waiting for us or. You know, if he was just, uh, decided to 
sit there until you, you know, shut down. <laughs> I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me. We're once again back on original course. Um, so, I'm not going to get into any fantasy star theories, um, but I just wanted to mention how a lot, maybe I mentioned this before, but, uh, a lot of the RPG, you know, a lot of RPGs that you play or that are science fiction related, uh, at the end, you know, where they have to flee their planet, flee their solar system, whatever, you know, a lot of the times they end up on Earth, right? So, all, all theories aside... Uh, it's, I, I think it was, especially back in the 80s and 90s, when you had a science fiction uh, related game, <coughs> excuse me, Planet Earth was oftentimes an end destination for uh, interstellar refugees. <laughs> Hooray! And now we land and make a life for us in the third planet from the sun, which is perfect for us. Anyway, so that's Fantasy Star 3, Chris's generation. Uh, I kind of made it sound at the very beginning, well, before we even started Chris's generation, that I was kind of mm, not dreading it, um, but not looking forward to it. And it's, it's just really a matter of getting used to the fact that you have to buy a lot of medicine. You have to buy dimates and trimates, uh, and I think truly that's the only part of Chris's generation that is more of an irritant to others. I mean, you still get Leia, who, you know, very powerful healer, and so it, it's not like we lost a lot of party members throughout, you know, all the fights that we took. Uh, I think we had... Uh, people go down two or three times. You know, a Nasher killed somebody, and that's inevitable. Uh, if if you get into a fight with a Nasher in Iridia, and it gets and it and, it's about, and it and it gets the turn, or excuse me, and if it gets the initiative of, ahead of somebody, anybody, to attack, it's going to zero out anybody. It's going to take someone down. And then that other that that other mob, the the lady mob, the in the the lady looking. What, what are they called? Not the Zephyrs, not the other things, but they take you down. So anyway, until our next uh, adventure, which will be Sean's adventure, and the last adventure in our Fantasy Tar Generations. So until then, so long for now.